Hey guys, just me today. Um, the kids do come home on Sunday. Yay! I uh, just wanted to make a quick video. Didn't know if you saw the Bear Share video on Facebook today. And if you didn't, I will put it in the um, comments below so that you can watch it. Um, it was a cute video that we collaborated as a team to make. It's always fun to collaborate. And I just wanted to make sure that you had a bear to share. So I'm going to do a quick drawing. Um, stay tuned and I hope you have fun. Here we go. Alright guys, I just grabbed a piece of manila paper. Um, just grabbed some crayons, kind of like just really quickly got the rainbow colors and then added pink and white and black. If I had not chosen the manila paper, I probably would have added a peach just for like the little face. But we're going to just do a simple little bear drawing. Um, I do have my Sharpie. Sharpie is my favorite. But if you don't have a Sharpie, you can always draw with your black crayon or um, whatever marker you guys have at the house that your parents will allow you to use. Hopefully you're noticing my nice black glittery background. Super excited about that. Got that for um, this desk. I was kind of ruining it as I was doing videos. So wanted to have something else to kind of protect this surface. Here we go. Alright guys, so for the first thing we're going to do is we're kind of going to go right here to the middle and we're going to make an oval um, right here in the middle and you'll kind of see, I kind of don't worry if it's perfect and I don't even care if it kind of goes like at a slant because then that kind of makes it look a little bit more fluffy like um, a stuffed animal would look. Um, when you're doing your bear, you want to make sure not to make your ears too big because that's going to look like Mickey Mouse or a mouse. And you don't want to make them too far down because then that could maybe start to look like a monkey. So we're going to kind of go right here. We're going to add a little rainbow for an ear. Add a little rainbow for an ear. I like to do a little line inside and a little line inside. That's just so we can add, you know, some pink or whatever color we decide we want there to make it look a little bit fancier. Now I'm going to also add an oval that touches down here on the bottom. Then I'm going to go down and down for the nose. You'll see I kind of make it over exaggerated. I like to add a little bit of cutie factor so I like to make it a little bit bigger right there. Then I'm going to add a little um, highlight there. I'm going to come down straight. I'm going to add a big smile and if it doesn't touch I just go right back down and connect. Now I want his arms to kind of be hanging down. So I'm going to go over here on the sides of my head right here and I'm going to go down towards the bottom, don't touch, down towards the bottom, don't touch. And I'm going to need to curve back for his little arms. You always have to kind of envision it on your paper before you start. We're going to curve back and up, curve back and up. Go like this curve back and up, curve back and up, okay? Then we're going to add a little stretched out rainbow here in the middle. I am going to come through and add a little bit of a belly. So I just touch, 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 a rounded part in here. Now I want to add his little feet out here and we're going to have him sitting. So I'm not going to show the whole circle. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to round and touch, around and touch. And just to make him a little bit sweeter, I'm going to add his paws, circle right here, circle right here. You'll notice I touched onto his leg and that makes it a little look a little bit fancier like these arms are in front of his feet. I'm going to add a paw, so a bigger circle, a little circle, half a rainbow, half a rainbow, bigger circle, little circle for his paws. I'm going to come back up here. You can do whatever eyes you want. 
I know lots of you like to make these little eyes like this, so I'm going to do these ones. I'm going to make a circle. I'm going to add a circle up here and a littler circle down here, a bigger circle up here and a littler circle down here. Then I'm going to color it in. I always like to go around my edges one more time to make sure I got everything and to make it look nice and neat. Color it in. Don't leave my little highlights. Go around one more time. You can add eyelashes if you want. I'm going to add cute little eyebrows. And then the last thing I like to add is I like to add a little bit of stitching. So I'm just going to do some dashes right down the middle up here at the top. And I'm going to do just a little bit of stitching going right down the middle of his belly. If you want, you can always add a heart or a rainbow or whatever it is you want to as an added detail on your bear. You know Miss D, I always love details. Last but not least, you don't want your bear just floating in the sky. So I'm going to add a little line, touch the side, foot to side. I want you to make a little table for my bear to be sitting on. And then I always want to have my signature. Remember, in art, Misty always puts by, and then I put my name fancy, like I do in art, because I have to write my name boring all the rest of the time. Now, if you want to put something else in the background, of course you can. If you want to leave it plain, of course you can. Now, you know Miss D, I do not like you to leave a lot of white. Remember, I do not like a lot of white. So, get to thinking, my friends. Your last detail, you can always do whatever you want to. You could write a message up here. You could say you're very special. You could draw hearts, you could make a rainbow, whatever you want to do in your background, feel free to do. I'm going to color mine using the marker and crayons is what I chose today. Oh, I didn't even get brown. Definitely going to add brown. Um, but do you have to do a brown bear? Nope. That's the greatest part about um, art. We get to do whatever we want. All right, be back in a few to show you what I came up with. I can't wait to see what you came up with, too. And just like that, friends, we're done. You get to choose whatever colors you want. I did have mine with some a little rainbow. And even though sometimes that can be trite, meaning that people think of that very easily, right now there's a huge trend to spread rainbows and kindness because we want to make the world beautiful in a time when there is stress and anytime you're feeling stressed out art is a great way for you to take a break and kind of refocus i sure do miss you have fun and don't forget to post your uh pictures can't wait to see see you later bye Hi friends, Martha Reed is going on a bear hunt, so let's sing the first part of We're Going on a Bear Hunt together. It goes like this. We're going on a bear hunt, we're gonna catch a big one. We're not scared. What a beautiful day. So, find your bears and go on a bear hunt. <laughs>